Thanks for joining us. We are learning more about the man who died in a car accident Sunday night. Ryan Schultz was driving home from dinner with his family when he was hit by a car going the wrong direction near the town of Trenton in Dodge County. Our Keeley Arthur spoke to his fiance today. Keely, This is a tough one. From planning a wedding to a funeral, that is the reality for one 22-year-old woman in Sun Prairie. Alyssa Van Gorder and Ryan Schultz were engaged to be married next January, but those plans were derailed Sunday night. He was kind. And he was gentle, and he was a really, really good man. Ask Alyssa Van Gorder about her fiance, Ryan Schultz, and like anyone in love, she doesn't have enough good things to say about him. He loved me. He was a really good dog dad and cat dad. Um, he loved his best friends. He would, you call him in the middle of the night and say, hey, I need something, and he'd be there. He was really, really, really special. The two met two Aprils ago. I knew from the second that I opened my door and I saw this cute boy with these big blue eyes standing there staring at me, I just, I knew that there was something about him. And this last December got engaged. I knew I wanted to spend the rest of my life with him. But Alyssa's dreams of a future with Ryan fade into a nightmare when she slips back into the reality of what happened Sunday night. Ryan had dinner with his family and was driving back to Sun Prairie on Highway 151 near Trenton when another person driving down the wrong side of the highway and suspected to have been drinking, slammed into the 24-year-old, killing him instantly. I think that that person took everything from me and his family. Alyssa spoke with him one final time before the crash. He had told me that his phone was at like 5% battery, but that he wanted to use that 5% to talk to me. And he said, I love you. And I said, I love you more. And he said, no, I love you more. He told me that he would call me when he got home. And I told him that I loved him one more time, and he said it back. Those words and their memories, all she is left with now, and says the only way she'll ever be able to move forward from the tragedy of Sunday is to live a life of love and adventure, exactly as she and Ryan had planned. He told me, you know, things, places that he's always wanted to see. And because of this person's choices, he's, he, he doesn't have that anymore. And I have to, I will do that for him. The driver of the other car, Eric Hagenbart of Beaver Dam, has a history of driving while intoxicated. His status is currently unknown to the public. He was taken to the hospital via life flight for threatening, life-threatening injuries. If you want to help Alyssa, head to our website. Keely, thank you. A